A blindingly bright star bursts into view in a corner of the night sky. It wasn't there just a few hours ago, but now it burns like a beacon. This video is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel. That bright star isn't actually a star, at least not anymore. The brilliant point of light is the explosion of a star that has reached the end of its life, otherwise known as a supernova. Supernovas can briefly outshine entire galaxies and radiate more energy than our sun will in its entire lifetime. They're also the primary source of heavy elements in the universe. According to NASA, supernovae are the largest explosion that takes place in space. On average, a supernova will occur about once every 100 years in a galaxy the size of the Milky Way. Put another way, a star explodes every second or so somewhere in the universe, and some of those aren't too far from Earth. About 10 million years ago, a cluster of supernovae created the local bubble, a 300 light year long peanut shaped bubble of gas in the interstellar medium that surrounds the solar system. Exactly how a star dies depends in part on its mass. Our sun, for example, doesn't have enough mass to explode as a supernova, though the news for Earth still isn't good because once the sun runs out of its nuclear fuel, perhaps in a couple billion years, it will swell into a red giant that will likely vaporize our world before gradually cooling into a white dwarf. But with the right amount of mass, a star can burn out in a fiery explosion. What causes a supernova? A supernova happens when there is a change in the core or center of a star. A change can occur in two different ways, with both resulting in a supernova the first type of supernova happens in binary star systems. Binary stars are two stars that orbit the same point. One of the stars, a carbon-oxygen white dwarf, steals matter from its companion star. Eventually, the white dwarf accumulates too much matter. Having too much matter causes the star to explode, resulting in a supernova. The second type of supernova occurs at the end of a single star's lifetime. As the star runs out of nuclear fuel, some of its mass flows into its core. Eventually, the core is so heavy that it cannot withstand its own gravitational force. The core collapses, which results in the giant explosion of a supernova. Our sun is a single star, but it does not have enough mass to become a supernova. What's left is an ultra-dense object called a neutron star, a city-sized object that can pack the mass of the Sun in a small space. Stars much more massive than the Sun, around 20 to 30 solar masses, might not explode as a supernova, astronomers think. Instead, they collapse to form black holes. Astronomers use Type 1a supernovas as standard candles to measure cosmic distances because all are thought to blaze with equal brightness at their peaks. So, why do scientists study supernovas? A supernova burns for only a short period of time, but it can tell scientists a lot about the universe. One kind of supernova has shown scientists that we live in an expanding universe, one that is growing at an ever-increasing rate. Scientists also have determined that supernovas play a key role in distributing elements throughout the universe. When the star explodes, it shoots elements and debris into space. Many of the elements we find here on Earth are made in the core of stars. These elements travel on to form new stars, planets, and everything else in the universe. This video is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel.